I'm Sophie Pavel. I'm a zoologist and science communicator and love nothing more than gallivanting around the Devon countryside, searching for wildlife and being in the outdoors. This December has been a little different for me as I had an arthroscopically assisted tibial, tubercle, osteotomy and transfer with distalisation, which basically means I had my kneecap detached and then screwed back into place in a different position. This also means that most of the time I need the help of crutches and a wheelchair to get out and about. Almost one in five people in the UK have a disability, be it a physical impairment or a limitation invisible to the naked eye. Spending time outdoors and connecting with nature can have remarkable health and well-being benefits for everyone, and so I thought it was important to explore how my local RSPB reserve caters for those with limited mobility. We're on our way to my local water meadow marshes, and they're run by the RSPB. And I guess what I'm really trying to do here is just to explore how easy it is for me to continue to visit my local nature reserves and things whilst in a wheelchair. <laughs> you got to have a good push here. I've got to have a good pusher. So it's been a really long time since I've been down here, so it'd actually be quite interesting to see whether the wildlife hide and the viewing platform is easy to get up to if I'm in my chair. I'm going to overtake the push chair. So far, so good. It's a very accessible road. This is well posh. I haven't got a badge though. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> a bit of a, bit of a mud okay, just, bump. Just get mud bump. Now I move oopsie, from chair to crutches. And I'm already encouraged because Should there's a lovely you? big ramp up there to the hide. Here. Winter wildlife is actually in abundance on wetlands and all sorts of wetland birds and migrant species overwintering from Scandinavia and other countries so this is actually a really good place to go see them. It seems I may have been a little bit rusty in the ins and outs of how a bird hide works but safe to say once I open the window I then settle down to a lovely spot of bird watching. If it's winter wildfowl and wader flocks that you're after, Bowling Green Marsh certainly delivers the goods. And thanks to a helicopter passing by, we were treated to a lovely display of geese flying away, and then suddenly all the birds were gone. But it was nice anyway. Overall, I had a lovely time at Bowling Green Marsh and thoroughly enjoyed having all the different bridges and walkways to wander around safely and happily on my crutches. That was really nice. I was really impressed with that. Super easy to get up and down. Saw loads of widgeons overwintering from Scandinavia and Russia and places like that. Everyone's pretty friendly when you're in a wheelchair. I should have my whole front. We've just spotted a fellow wheelchair user, so we're going to go try and catch them up and see if they want to have a chat about how they find getting outside and being around nature and stuff like that. So. I met Richard, an enabler from a disability centre in Exeter, to have a chat about how he finds the disabled access around here. There are some, some nice places around that are, are accessible, so bird mm. hide up there, it's really got disabled access, that, yeah. which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. And lots of things you can use to do as well, so there's binoculars and scopes and things that ones with some vision can use. Mm. We're quite fortunate with the cycle paths. Mm gives us access to the whole length of the river on both sides really. Mm. Beyond that, if you want to get adventurous, you have to start mm. looking at specialist equipment, mm. specialist yeah. wheelchairs with really big wheels and you can still do adventurous stuff. It was great to see that there are people like Richard who willingly give up their time to enable those with limited mobility to get outside into the wild and enjoy nature. The riverside pleasure gardens. Do you know the widgeon has one of my favourite Latin names? Guess what it is? No idea. Anus Penelope. <laughs> okay. There's another car coming. Come a bit more wary, especially if you've got a leg sticking out. So far I'm giving Topsham a 10 out of 10, especially for its bird hide. That was really impressive. I think it makes it more relaxing. When you have a wheelchair and crutches and other stuff, it just makes a simple journey just seem so a bit more complicated and a bit more of a headache to try and negotiate. 
and also to plan. Like the guy was saying back there was like, you've just got to be a really good planner. Yeah. So it's nice if, if, it, if they make it easy for you so that you can actually enjoy where you are. The accessory I think is an area about sandy natural beauty, it has RSPB reserves, wildlife trust reserves, blah blah blah. I've been able to access, to see them and to be right next to them like this very easily with very little bumpage. Ow, 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 ow. How you doing? <laughs> Big shout out to my Woo! Oh, in the road. I have to say, experiencing limited mobility has been an incredibly humbling and eye-opening experience. If you'd like to find out more about the Wildlife Trusts or RSPB reserves near you that have disabled access, please head over to the websites I've detailed below.